Welcome to Straight Real, where I give it to you straight. I'm your host, King J. And today what I wanted to talk about is this presidential race, the 2016 presidential race, which has gotten kind of chaotic and out of control. As of right now, we have two candidates. We have Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. So from my perspective and from the way I see it, first, on the Republican side, Donald Trump, the fact that they can nominate somebody like Donald Trump lets me know where the Republican Party is and where a lot of people in America are mentally. To me, in my opinion, the things that Donald Trump says are things that white America wants to say, but they just don't want to say it because they're trying to be politically correct and they don't want to they don't want people to think that they're a quote unquote racist. But to me, I just think the fact that they can nominate somebody like Donald Trump uh, lets them know exactly who they are. I think he's one of the worst nomin presidential nominees uh, we've seen in a long time. I mean, to me, it, it doesn't surprise me, though. I'm not surprised at all that they'll nominate somebody like Donald, like Donald Trump especially what we've seen over the last seven or eight years. I just think that some people in this country, especially whites, they'll go out and vote for anybody uh, as long as that person is anti-Obama, anti-minority, anti-women, uh, anti-everything. And I think the problem that the Republican Party has had is the fact that they're so anti-everything, they don't even know what they stand for anymore. They don't even let people know what the Republican Party historically stands for. And if they were able to articulate that, they would have a lot more support. Because a lot of people may not know that uh, right after the Civil War, the Republican Party was the party where, that included blacks. They, were, they, they wanted blacks to be free. They were all about, uh, you know, personal responsibility and and doing for self and being self-reliant and uh, becoming entrepreneurs <clears throat> and things of that nature. They don't say anything like that no more. All they talk about is what they're against. They talk about who they're against, whether it's Muslims or, you know, this type of person or the fact that this person believes this so we can't have them in our country or in our party. And so here they are now. They've produced someone like Donald Trump, and it's their own fault. You know, they don't even want Donald Trump as the nominee, but that's who they've selected. And I think that it's their own fault that they picked someone like Donald Trump to become the nominee, and now they have to live with it. They made their own, their own bed, and they have to live with it. I think it's sad, though, the state of affairs that this country is currently in, though, <clears throat> because when you think about it, uh, we should have made a lot more progress than we have now. A lot of people will say that we have made progress, and we have in a lot of ways. But when it comes to race relations, I just think ra racism is the same. It's on the same level it's always been. It's just a different type of racism. You know, racism isn't calling, calling you a nigger, you know, or <clears throat> hanging you from a tree. Nowadays, racism is, you know, uh, the criminal justice system uh, being biased and unfair toward blacks, <clears throat> not hiring blacks, you know, the amount of uh, unemployed and underemployed blacks as opposed to other races, which I'll, that's, which I'll get into in another video. But right now I just wanted to focus on this presidential race <clears throat> and the fact that right now I just think people, just like most of the time, are just voting for the lesser of two evils. And that's what we're getting with Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. Now, Hillary Clinton, I would say, in my opinion, I think she's going to win the presidency. And mostly because of the type of uh, nominee that the Republicans have put up. But Hillary Clinton has run a mediocre campaign. Uh, and I don't think either one of these candidates, or any candidate for that matter, is going to look out for the for the uh, well-being of blacks. 
I just don't think it's a priority. I don't think it's ever been a priority, and I don't think they feel that they have to make it a priority. So I think most of these politicians, they go out and they, get, they go in front of black crowds and they say things that sound good and they make it sound, they make it seem like uh, they're on our side and they're so sympathetic toward us. But when it comes all the way down to it, you know, I think they're just as much against us as anybody else, uh, even white Democrats. Uh, a lot of them can't be trusted either because if you remember when uh, President Obama was running in 2008, a lot of uh, Democrats got elected to the Senate and to the House. As a matter of fact, the Democrats won the House and the Senate by a large majority because of him. And as soon as they got their seats uh, and when his uh, poll numbers went down, they all turned their back on him and said, you know, Barack who? I don't really know him. You know, uh, I'm, I'm my own person. You know, I don't really agree with him. You know, so I just think that Democrats don't have a backbone and Republicans don't really have a conscience when it comes to people that disagree with them. And I think both parties are really sort of ignorant when it comes to that. And this is what's turning people off about politics. I think that a lot of people that could be participating in, in politics are not participating. Uh, Bernie Sanders got a lot of people involved, but he's not the nominee. So who are those people going to vote for? Are they automatically going to vote for Hillary? I don't know. We'll see. But I'm more concerned about where our people are going and what type of uh, political system is really going to look, look out for us. Because in my, in my opinion, I don't think a two-party political system is sufficient for all the mixed, diverse ideas we have in America. To me, I think we need more political parties with more diverse views. Because if you look at what goes on in the political spectrum, you always have two different opinions. You have the liberal side and the conservative side. And everything has a label on it. Either it's labeled liberal or conservative. And some things are not purely liberal and some things are not purely conservative. Some things are down the middle. A lot of people, actually most people, are somewhat moderate and down the middle. I don't know anybody who's 100% conservative or liberal. So I just think we need some other type of political party that really represents the nation as opposed to these uh, phony parties that are controlled by corporations and special interests. So that's really what it comes down to. Uh, it's all about money. And, you know, we live in a, a corporate uh, political system where corporations can give as many as much money as they want to to a political party without anybody knowing where it comes from. And, and I always say once you get money involved in certain things, money usually corrupts it. And our political system has been corrupt for a long time. Another example of that is the um, criminal justice system. Money has gotten deeply involved and it's corrupt too because the prison system is now on the stock market. You know, uh, Corrections Corporation of America, you know, that's a correction uh, company or corporation that actually makes money off of putting people in prison. So when you look at all of this, I just think that when it comes to um, certain institutions, certain institutions shouldn't be for profit. And that's also something I want to get into in, in another video uh, because our political system is for sale now. You know, the whole country is for sale because America is just one big corporation. You know, the president is the CEO. And, you know, in a corporation, you have a CEO and they have workers at the bottom who make the money for the people at the top. And that's exactly the way it's set up in America, just like a corporation. So um, in, in 2016, I mean, it's been a real roller coaster ride. It's been crazy. It'll be interesting to see what happens in November. Uh, to be honest, I mean, I'd rather have Hillary Clinton than Donald Trump. But at the end of the day, um, we have to realize that 
no political party or no politician is going to get us out of the con out of the condition that we're in. It just can't be done through politics. It has to be done through a whole different mentality, a whole different state of mind, a whole different spirituality. Uh, a different spirit has to come within us and we have to realize that we have to unify and come together to form our own community and do for ourselves. There's no political system that's perfect enough that's going to bring us out of the, out of the condition we've been in for the last few centuries. So as far as uh who I'm supporting, uh to be honest, uh I support myself and I support my people. Uh whoever's on board with that, that's who that's who that's who I'm with. But with everything that's been going on as far as the Orlando shooting and um all the talk that's been going back and forth between these two candidates, you know, I don't think it's worth really just uh, feeding into the sort of political game show or reality show that's going on right now. So hopefully um, something good will come out of this uh, presidential election. Um, I don't think that um, I'll be surprised one way or the other. So, you know, post your comments and let me know what you think about this election and about Hillary or Donald Trump. You know, what you think they'll, each one of them will bring to the table because each one of them will bring something different to the table, good and bad. So post your comments, let me know what you think. And until next time, peace.